Honorable député de Rivière des Mille. The Honorable Member for Rivière des Mille. Mr. Speaker, for months we've wanted to know who interfered in the competition for the Afghanistan Mission Monument. Who overruled the jury to oust Quebec's Dao team? Well, documents obtained at committee confirm that the Prime Minister's office interfered. In May 22, 2022, PMO organized a meeting with departments to discuss the competition. Then in July, PMO lobbied, but the officials were against the idea of bypassing the jury. Why did PMO interfere in the competition to make sure the Dao team lost? The Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thanks very much. I'd like to thank my colleague for his important question. Mr. Speaker, the creation of the Afghanistan Monument will recognize the commitment of Canadians who served in that mission. Mr. Speaker, the Department of Veterans Affairs did a poll or a questionnaire, and over 12,000 Canadians, most of them veterans, responded to the poll. And the concept chosen was one that they felt better reflected their bravery and participation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Rivière du Midi. Mr. Speaker, the survey they're talking about is bogus. Léger panned it. Mr. But in any case, Speaker. the jury did take into account that poll before making their decision. Here's what really happened. PMO interfered with the decision at least twice. The Department of Justice provided legal opinions on the consequences of overturn overturning the jury's decision. Expert witness Jean-Pierre Chupin at committee confirmed that out of 500 competitions in Canada, this had never happened before. Why did the Prime Minister interfere in the competition to make sure the Dao team lost? The Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, what really happened was the government chose to listen to veterans. The department did a poll or a questionnaire and over 12,000 Canadians responded. And once again, Mr. Speaker, the vast majority of those respondents were veterans or their family members. The results were clear. People felt that the selected monument better reflected the bravery and participation of ve veterans, and that's why we went with that choice. Crowfoot. Canadians depend on affordable proteins like chicken, yet over the last eight years, families are forced to cut back on these essentials. Yeah. Canadian farms lead the world in environmental be best practices, but the Liberals choose only to punish them with higher costs, red tape, and a quadrupling of the carbon tax. A chicken farmer near Redwater, Alberta, is already paying nearly two grand a month in the carbon tax. Come the middle of winter, that cost will double. Costs that are passed on to Canadians who are already struggling to put food on the table. Will these Liberals finally take the tax off families, farmers, and First Nations finally? <laughs> The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Speaker, speaking with farmers uh, across the country, one of the biggest concerns they have is why the opposition party does not have a policy or a plan to deal with the environment. Chicken farmers understand very well, like every other farmer, you need to have a plan. We have to deal with the environment. And because we do have a plan for environment, we're able to assist chicken farmers. We're able to make sure the supply management system remains in safe. You can tell my honorable colleague, Mr. Speaker, and can tell his chicken farmer that we will make sure that supply management remains strong.